as we're underway and Ward pulling away strongly for the first runs. A wonderful boundary to start off this day too. So, these two can... Whitish ball driven beautifully by Ward. Full of delivery. It's his second boundary of the morning. Just smashes that through the offside. He moves up to nine. The score, none for ten. Goodwin with his first runs. Working it away and working it away nicely for four. You hear it clang into the fence down here. Like the back of their hand. No ball the call. Goodwin slashing away again. And again, reward with the boundary, clanging again into that fence. Yeah. And you come out here on the, the flat Australian wickets and... Oh, that's exactly what he does. Squares up the left-hander. Ball runs off the outside edge and goes all the way for four. Actually. It's a lovely shot. Great shot there from Ward, driving away past mid-off. Hitting towards the boundary, slowing up, but we'll have more than enough on it to go through for a boundary there. Looks like a... And that an looks edge. like they might have got at the edge. Finally, they have. So, Joseph it is. Shamar Joseph gets the breakthrough. They've been threatening threatening to do that. The right. on the full. <laughs> Shot and cut away for four by Tim Ward. Akeem Jordan is... Wine for that third seamers role with Chama Joseph. Or guys that are probably a bit later in their career. A full ball, nicely driven by Tim Ward. Through the covers for four. Went really full, did Joseph. Oh, this time he does play the uppercut very nicely, that's Teague Wiley. Was short of length, was coming at him. Oh, lovely shot. Might bounce once and does indeed. Lovely shot there by Tim Ward, who moves on to 40. Yes. And beautiful that's driven shot. beautifully. Wonderful stroke. Follows up the pool with a wonderful slashing drive through the offside. Back. And Ward, like he's done so many times this morning, just opens the face of the bat. Lights it away for a single and I think brings up his half century. It's a very well played half century. Oh, and he's got a wicket. Oh, that's beautifully bowled by Gurukesh Moti. Floated up. Oh, he's bowled him. Bowled him. Knocked him over. Just on the call of slippery pace. He's gone right through him. Fourth ball after lunch while he's on his way. Time. Oh, it's in the air. It High might be a chance. Should be caught and is. So two wickets down after the tea break. Clayton on his way for three. Four for 97. Mm. I think it had to have been a good chance. As Hanscom pulling away, well struck. It's slowing down as it heads towards the rope, but it will comfortably go. He's off the mark with that boundary. And also Cricket Australia 11 bringing up. Hanscom clips that one cleverly. Great timing over the top of Slips and Gully and down for another boundary. And again, good bowling. But runs this time to Doran, working it away past the diving fielder at Gully. It's slowing as it gets to the rope right in front of our commentary Ten, position. They, the CA11, which... Is that's that... edged and taken. Right back, that third slip flew off the outside edge. Hanscom on his way, and three down now. He pulls this one up his leap, but nicely, and will be rewarded with a boundary. So he moves to eight. It's again pulled, diving. Fantastic catch by Kimar Roach. Magnificent catch. Session here on day two for just 20 runs. Yeah, well, like I said, they've been very good since the break, and that well, it wasn't a great shot by Jake Doran. Probably just rushed a bit by Alzari Joseph, and, well, he just lobbed it up, and the big, quick Kimar Roach. This time, edge straight to second slip. Another one down. Amazing spell by the West Indies. They have taken five for 21. 
or edged, but through the gap this time for four. So they're constantly challenging that outside edge. Short ball, pulled much better than some of the ones we've seen after the lunch break. And he does get four for that, does Bradley Hope. King so Jordan not as quick as the other three. Shot this time from Justin Greaves has just cleared the point field and will go to the boundary for four. The heart in mouth for Brad Hope there. And Gully. Edge. And it has gone through the gap yet again. Should have been a four slip for that one. Exactly, Kirk McKenzie. If only he was in that fourth slip position. So, Brian Charles Lara. Witt goes for it. And it's flown to the boundary yet again. This time to the right of what is a whitish gully. Slashing at this one and slashing successfully. As I say, that he bowls one short <laughs> wide. <laughs> he got a bit of height on it with the shot there, but it would take it as it ended up in the fifth shield game. As it, it, yeah. Oh, good catch. Big bit of touch on that from this, but it is. He took evasive action, but he got a touch on it and he's out, caught it first slip. So another wicket falls. Didn't see a lot of him got the crucial wicket of Ward. Was slashing at that. It's bowled him. And he's bowled him. So Jordan gets the breakthrough. Slashing away. Knocking over the stumps. And that is the end of that. Kevin Sinclair picks himself up a wicket. Leading in. He's edging away into the gully. And that is out, I believe. Yeah, it's brilliant. it is brilliantly caught by... Uh, Ward in the gun. Clipped away off the pad. Nicely struck by McKenzie. First runs of the innings, a boundary. So at a wicket and a boundary. Pulled away nicely by De Silva Pass, square leg. Will it go all the way it does. Fielder diving away at mid wicket. Short pulled away. And that bisects the two fielders almost perfectly for four. He pulls that one. Nicely struck. And a boundary the result. Nicely done by De Silva here. Played away from his body, but got enough back to it. And Embarrassing. Ah, beautifully pulled. And the fielder has completely lost it. He hasn't moved. The fielder was a deep backward square leg. He thought it was coming to him. It was instead flying in the direction of deep mid-wicket. The ball's just been chucked back in by the West Indian players in the dugout. Another pull shot. It's going to be tight. And it'll go to four again. So Joshua De Silva is taking on the short ball. Captured. Oh, he's, uh, all he's managed to do is edge it to first slip. There was a bit of flair about the way he went about that shot. Full end. Four runs. Yeah, well played. Wonderful shot from De Silva. Just clipped it away for four. Pulls at this one short away, struck nicely. Full toss, misfielded by Teague at mid wicket. And it's running away for four. Finish, Haskett running in. And it's driven beautifully by Kavim Hodge. And he's beaten the fielder at point. And it's picked up a boundary. That's a lovely shot. Shot man, not, yeah. not the tallest. Shot is he? boy, as they'd say in the Windies, hey? Uh, shot boy. That was. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful drive. Oh, maybe shot of the day from Calvin Hodge. A bit of width, the ball was full. 
shot this time from Warren and pulled again for four. This time Joshua De Silva getting nicely on top of it and that gets him to a half century. And, and I agree with your point. Um, I think that might be the end of play, actually. It certainly is. So the last ball of the day just pushed into the onside by Joshua De Silva.